the other day that I used to do to one of my ex-girlfriends. Like, I mean, I actually was like, whoa, I tried to choke my wife while we was... <laughs> like, I put my hands on her. She's like, what? what is wrong with you? Get your hands off of my neck. <laughs> do what? You have never put your hands around my neck. When did you choke me? No, no, you never choked me. That's a lie. That is a lie. I told you when I was the third grade, there was a little boy named Bobby still tried to choke me. We had to press charges on him and his family. So I know damn well you did not try to choke me before. You, you haven't even seen me wear a damn scarf or a tie. So that is a lie. Save my job. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Don't think. Let's just go. Let's just do it. Come on. Jesus. Yeah. More pressure than I've already No, there's no myself. such thing as pressure. All right. You're not doing a thing today? Uh, I figured something out though. Okay, cool. So. Hey guys, it's Dream again. Thank you so much for joining us. Today I'm doing another segment of Real Marriage Talk and I actually have my friend. Yes. The crazy comedian, writer, and actor, Royale Watkins. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Hello everybody. Hey, so we're gonna get right into it. Can you please tell me a little bit about your wife and how you guys met? Wait, can we slide into this? Just like, no. Tell me about your wife and how you guys met. Yeah. All right. That's how um, we're starting. Uh, let's see. I met my wife at... Actually, I used to host um, a show in Jersey called the... Uh, it's at this club called the Peppermint Lounge. And, uh, and my wife saw me on television. I did Def Comedy Jam. And she's like, oh, he's going to be at the show. And so her girlfriends dragged her out, and she used to sit in the audience. And uh, I don't remember seeing her sitting in the audience, but I do recall when her girlfriend dragged her up to me. It's like, my friend wants to meet you. <laughs> and honestly, I was like, at the time, I'm not going to lie, I was like, probably had about two or three girls that I was probably messing around mm -hmm. with at the time. So I told her, just give me a minute. And then my wife at the time, or her girlfriend finally brought her over to me and introduced me to her. I was like, hey, it was a pleasure to meet you, blah, blah, blah. And she said she wanted, she wanted to go out to lunch. So I was like, all right, here's, I think I gave her, I think she gave me her number, uh -huh. right? And, um, and I called her and uh, we set up lunch and we went out to lunch. And, uh, and then I dragged her through the worst dating you could drag a woman through. <laughs> you know, messing around with other women, mm -hmm. all of the stuff, because I needed to test her to see if she really, really loved me, mm -hmm. you know? And then once I found out that she loved me, then I said, okay, good. And Let's... you couldn't have found that out without testing her and no, stressing her out? No, no. No, this listen. Ladies, school you system, see, right? you this, see? they have tests in school to, to, to make, for a reason. <laughs> okay. We don't just let people float through the system. We have to check along the way to see, has this person met this requirement? Is this person ready for this uh, level of, of something? No, we have that test. So I administered the test, and she passed all of them. How long did you guys date before you got married? We dated for about five years. Wow, okay. Yep. And, and my wife won't admit this, but she actually asked me to marry her first. Wow. But she tried to make it like it was a joke. <laughs> so and I said, no, be patient. Good for you. And she didn't have a ring when she proposed. No, okay. that's the other thing. She didn't give me any jewelry. I didn't get like a chain or a charm bracelet or nothing like that. So. Okay, and her passing the test, is that how you knew she was the one? Like, how did you know? No, I think I knew she was the one from day one. But again, I was just very immature, to be honest with mm -hmm. you. So it took that five years to, for you to grow up. And it to took that five years for me to grow up. It took that five years for me to tell a couple of my ex-girlfriends, mm -hmm. I'm like, this is for real, it's over. And they said, no, it's not over. And they said, let me show you why it's not over. Uh -oh. And then I let them show me. And I was like, okay, I get what you're trying to say, <laughs> but now, nah, you know, it's, it's still you know, typical male bullshit. Mm -hmm. All men cheat. And you being... Turn the camera off. Turn the camera off, <laughs> damn it. We got to hey, go to black. <laughs> For blog-related comments and questions, be sure to follow me on Twitter at Daydream217. And to continue the discussion, be sure to find my Not So Patiently Waiting Facebook page.
please be sure to visit the Not So Patiently Waiting for His Love blog at www.dreamcatcher3606.blogspot.com.